So this question comes from Anna underscore T underscore Ellis, and she asks, how long does editing take and does the vlog life ever stress you? Mm. Love you. Tell you, Paige puts a lot of hard work into it. A lot of time when Reed is sleeping because mm -hmm. when he's awake, she's actually spending time with him. So mm -hmm. she takes advantage of his naps and actually takes that time to edit. Yes. So yes, it it's not really stressful because I enjoy it. So it's only stressful when I feel like I have a time frame and I have mm -hmm. to do it or else I'm going to like disappoint people. That's upsetting. Yeah. And I've committed to do two days a week. And as you know, there have been a couple times when I couldn't keep that up and I feel bad about that. But um, I really enjoy editing and I enjoy just capturing those moments. It's really fun. Actually, if I ever chose a different career, I'd probably be a video editor because I just, I'm probably not that great at it. But, and really with vlogs, it's pretty easy. You're just piecing things together, choosing music. Yeah. Some of my more creative videos, there will be coming one. For Reed's birthday, guys, I have things that are very near and dear to my heart that are coming out. It's not really about the editing skills as much as the content, mm. but really please, when Reed's birthday comes, February 3rd, around that time, be watching my videos, because I've put, I'm starting, I've started like a month ago, and I'm gonna be putting a lot of work into this, so I will really greatly appreciate you getting to see that as well, and they're fun. But anyway, um, the, does the, oh, so the question actually was, how long does editing take, and does the vlog life ever stress you? It doesn't stress me, I'm not like a worried person where I worry about people, that are gonna like do us harm or anything. I guess if that does mm. cross my mind, that stresses me. And as you guys know with the Earls family, that was scary. So we actually questioned continuing because of that. And um, we ended up realizing that, you know what, we're just gonna trust that God's taking care of us and that we're gonna be okay. So we are continuing with our vlogging. But no, I love, we love vlogging. And editing takes, I mean, like, like I said, with like Reed's birthday video, that'll probably take like, I don't know, a few weeks. It takes a long time, maybe even longer. But with just my regular vlogs, it might take two to three hours per video. So, I don't know, not maybe, no, it's not too bad. It might be a little longer depending on the video and how many pieces there are to it, but hopefully that answers your question. From J House Fandom, what were your top name choices for Reed? Oh yes, yeah. so we can't tell you guys because if oh, we have another we boy, Oh. No, if we have another boy, we might use that name, and you guys know because we do YouTube. Oh, I'm just gonna tell him. <laughs> we kind of would like to surprise you. Maybe Rick wanted to tell you. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, we have to keep that a secret. But the other part of the question that you asked, she asked, "How did you choose Reed's name?" Mm. And actually, it was very simple. We had two names. One, the other name we might use if we have another boy. So that's why we can't mm. tell you. But one name was for if he's dark haired, and one name was for if he was a redhead, and or light haired. Yes, and so when he came out, we thought he looked like a redhead, and so mm -hmm. that was Reed. Reed's name means redheaded, so a little fun fact. If he has red hair, great. If he doesn't, that's okay, too. He's just got a cool name, and people love it anyway <laughs> when we tell him about it, so yeah. I'm, I'm still thinking he's going to have red hair just like his mama. And so mm -hmm. it's just a little bit more brunette of a type of red. Mm -hmm. Next question comes from fanpage dot. J House Vlogs, Julia, hi. <laughs> um, so you ask, if you had a girl, what would you name her? Another thing, guys, we're just kind of putting this in with the other question because we have two names. No fun. No we have fun. two names that we love. I can't tell you because if we have a girl, then we're going to be choosing one of these names. She's and we'll no be fun. Surprised. I know. No fun. I know. No I, fun. I would have told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we got to keep some suspense because just in case... The YouTube channel grows, I know that it could be really fun to have a surprise name reveal. Even if it doesn't grow, it's just fun anyway. So This is from Emily Ten Ten Abel. What is Reed's favorite movie slash show? Okay. Are you ready? You say it and then I'll say one. Because I think he's got like couple. Yeah, well he's got a few. I was gonna list. One. Oh, just say one. Alright. He really likes um Elmo's World. Mm, he does. And he really likes Daniel Tiger. Yeah, he does. And we'll throw in a bonus because he's not here, so this is for Reed. I'm sure if he was here, he would tell you Peppa Pig. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so he's got those, three. Those have been his top three. Yes. It's like we always, like whenever we say, Reed, do you want to watch the show? He says, Peppa Pig or Elmo, Elmo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually, guys, we don't have a TV in our house, so we use our laptop, and he only gets to watch every once in a while because yeah. we kind of don't really want him to watch a lot of TV. We want to enjoy fun family experiences, going outside. Doing yeah. other things. So. Usually it's only when like he's like really fussy yes. and tired and we just want to wind him down for bed. Yes. <laughs> and also his first movie ever was The Grinch, the one that just came out. 
Don't forget, he went to go see... Oh, um, Despicable Me. That mm-hmm. was his original first, but he was too young, so he couldn't hang with it. Yeah, he only watched like half an hour, and he was like, okay, yes. I'm done. Yes, so, but anyway, he loved the Grinch. He, he sat quiet, yeah. ate his popcorn the whole time. Next question comes from Brianna at Ellen7, and she says, do you prefer your short or long hair better? So that is a tough question because this short hair has been really easy, but I do like how long hair looks on me, so I'm kind of torn, uh, but it has been a nice change. So I'm sorry, that's not very direct. One cookie? No, thank you. It's not very direct but um, and like clear answer, but I feel like it's a toss up. I really like both. I'm probably going to grow it out. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of enjoying what I have for now. I, so. think, I think she's really liked both, honestly. I think yeah. she really liked the way she looked with her long hair and then when she got it cut short she's like mm, this is so refreshing and it feels so nice yes. so and if we ever get together you guys you have to come over to have some chocolate some of my famous chocolate chip cookies rick says they are the best he has ever mm-hmm. tasted so you'll have to do a little taste test someday if we ever get together yeah which leads in the next question here from multi underscore loving she asked do you want to go to a meet and greet <laughs> So someday when we go to a meet and greet, we'll bring some chocolate chip cookies and we can have a chocolate chip cookie meet and greet party. With tea, probably, knowing Paige. And Reed. (laughs) And Reed, yeah. But yes, to answer that, we would love to do that. Obviously, we're a very small channel, so I don't know if that day will ever come. But you guys help us get there, promote our channel, tell people about us, and maybe one day we would have a meet and greet. We would definitely enjoy that. We would. There's so many of you guys that we would love to meet, which leads into the next question. From family underscore vloggers fan account. Again, I think we did one yes, already. Yes, Ava, right? we did. She has, <laughs> you have great questions, so we so, have to do them. She says, what's your favorite thing about gut? So, my favorite thing about gut. One of my favorite things is that, you know, as, as, part, of, as part of his character, he loved us first. Mm. I think that's that's one of the coolest things because so many times we like people when they like us back you know we're friends with people who are friendly to us Mm -hmm. you know when we strike up a conversation it's like you know there's got to be this interaction before we decide that we actually like the person Mm -hmm. (laughs) and so like before any of that even happened like well God knew us of course but he chose to love us way before we could ever have thought yes that we wanted to love him back or if we wanted to love him back at all he loves us still yes so I think that's that's a that's probably one of my favorite things. Yeah, that's cool. So I'll answer that really quick. I think for you girls, I'm sure a lot of you are girls that are watching this. Maybe that's a big assumption, but I'm just going to assume that for now. And a lot of you are probably teenage girls or early 20s. And I know self-image is such a huge thing. Like, I think about it even myself. You know, you put on something in the morning and you're like, oh, I look horrible. What am I going to do? I, I need to lose weight. I need to do this. And all these things come into our head about how we're not good enough and I think it's so neat to think about when I think those things and I look in the mirror I just tell myself and I've been trying to practice this more recently just that God created me perfectly and he loves me for who I am and I don't have to look a certain way I don't have to weigh a certain amount I don't have to wear makeup I don't have to wear awesome clothes high heels I don't have to make myself look great he loves me just the way I am and that is just such a reassuring thing that he created me perfectly he created you guys perfectly and you do not need to change and so that's just one thing i love so many things about god because he's like our best friend but um yeah that's just one thing that came to the top of my head so hopefully that answers Mm. a little piece of that for you very nice this this question comes from simply brenna vlog yes what do you like slash not like about living in new jersey And then she has a second part that says, is it a pizza or is it a pie? And I'll answer that real quick. It's pizza. (laughs) Can it be a pizza pie? A pizza pie. But we just say, (laughs) you want to order pizza? Yeah, we say, do you want a pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I like that all my family's here. Yeah. That's one thing to like about New Jersey. Um, I also like that it's easier to homeschool in, mm-hmm. in New Jersey. And then what I don't like about New Jersey is the high taxes. Mm, yes. Okay, so that's true. Hands down, yeah, the taxes are not good here. Uh, but... It could be worse, I'm sure. New Jersey is amazing, guys. I know so many people criticize it, and I, I get upset about that, because it's like, why are... Or, or they relate us to, like, Jersey Shore, that show, you know? I don't even watch it myself, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, those people. But, yeah, no, New Jersey is amazing for one reason that comes to the top of my head. 
if you live in New Jersey, first of all, the weather is great. We do not have hurricanes or tornadoes oh. or anything bad. Like, it's just nice weather pretty much all year. Yeah, we have seasons, but <laughs> I don't know I about like nice that. weather. It's not, like it. it's not like, um, hey, baby, this is my answering the question. Oh, my bad, my bad. There are no major, you know, hurricanes or tornadoes or huge earthquakes. storms, earthquakes, whatever. So, in that sense, yes. you know, New Jersey's very right. kind to us, but it's, it, it's like 50% rain. No, it, <laughs> All right, whatever. We'll agree to disagree. But I like the weather here. I think it's great. And I love the fact that we can go to the shore. You guys know my parents have a shore house, and we are there a lot of the year. It's an hour away. It's so easy. We can go there. We can go to mountains. We can do everything. Plus, there's everything to do. I cannot stay in my house for very long. I love going out and doing things. So, movie, shopping, eating, like, we have to go out. So, I really like it here. But I'm sure that if we ever move, we will be fine. You know, we'll get used to somewhere else. That's yeah. cool. But yes, New Jersey is like, it's my hometown. I love it. Home state. It's my home state. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Q&A. Definitely keep following along on our journey as a family of three. And be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're new, because we would love to have you a part of our family here at All The Rage. See you next time.